let's move on <laughs> into the Daily Mail. And it's Israeli comedians mercilessly mock the BBC. Normally that's our job, but good to get some backup, Lewis. Yeah, do we have any video for this? Do we have we video? Need a do you want Israel, no, just anymore? okay. Israel comedians ruthlessly mock BBC reporting of Al Ahli hospital bombing in Gaza. Satirical show pokes fun at the Beeb. And, uh, and it's like comedians in Israel, and they're basically saying that Israel is completely, excuse me, that the BBC is completely one sided. The BBC News, I guess, is completely one sided yeah. against against Israel, and they are because Israel represents one of the one of the the last ethno states and is against ethno states and and is on the team world side. Plus, it's also sides with the you know with the, with the, the Muslims. Let's have a quick look at the clip just so we know what we're talking about. Although we still might struggle. <laughs> Good evening from London. Here are some news from the war in Gaza. Israel has bombed a hospital, killing hundreds of innocent people. More, more. Much better. With more details, our Middle East correspondent, Harry Whitegilt. Good evening, Rachel, from the illegal colony of Tel Aviv. I like that Harry White girl. What do you make of that, Cresta? Isn't it kind of shocking that the BBC are, 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 are laughing stock in the world now? Well, I don't know. I'd like to know more about those comedians. I mean, is that mainstream Israeli TV? Are they rebels? I don't know who they are. Good point. Um, they're not quite as advanced as British and American comedy in yeah. some of the production values, but their heart was in the right place. Harry White guilt was funny. Yeah. The, the woman had a good uh, takeoff of a BBC presenter. And the fact that the BBC is so easily parodied because they've so clearly yeah. sided with Palestine, I mean, that Israel can see it, everyone knows it. I mean, they've failed completely in impartiality and they deserve to be mocked. Sure. Because, yeah. because it's, it's the state propaganda network of Britain. It's basically a tool of team world in this country. So, it, 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 I mean, I'm sorry, unless they offer me a job, <laughs> I've, I've got no respect for That's them. That's what we should have in this country, isn't it? That that joke should be, you know, it's, it's for the Brits to mock the Brits, but we yeah. don't do that. Right, yeah. we've lost satire, and it's the BBC doing the satire. Have I got news for you all smoke? Yeah, yeah. But they right. wouldn't satirise themselves. So maybe we should satirise. Not me, I'm an American. I mean, it's, not my, it's none of my business, except my kids are. The fact, if I can say this during these really bad times, and Israel has had a lot of problems, basically, it's been said that Israelis are Jews without a sense of humour. Um, Who said that? I, I have said that. I have said that. I mean, that was that was relatively funny, but it's not that funny. But thank God the Israelis are not funny. Harsh. Was that was that really harsh? Two stars, like a three. No. On those shocking comments.